Rafael Noyola, and I'm a, an artist from Monterrey, Mexico. I have been painting for a long, for a long time. Uh, I remember painting since I was a little kid. But doing this, this format that you see here, began, that began like four years ago. And uh, it began out of, a, out of a problem I have. Uh, originally, I wanted to make big format photography. But I, the only tools I have, it, it, they were like a small 35 millimeter camera. So anyway, or in the, I, I always make a great effort to take a great picture. But when I, once I have that picture, I just couldn't blow it big enough, right? Because it always loses like the resolution. So one day, out of desperation, I just took this photograph that I loved and have a big, you know, canvas. What I did is why, that I started just like, you know, painting the photograph. And once I finished the photograph, I, I realized that, that it was quite dramatic. It was more dramatic than the photo itself. How I do it, or what I do. Um, well, well, as you can see, I'm not really pretentious with what I want to do. Uh, regarding the, the, the format of the paintings, well, I'm an architect. Of course, I love architecture. And this format I have discovered that it's very interesting because you can actually add like square footage to your house with, with this that I'm developing. How do I do this? It's very easy. Once you have this huge uh, dark uh, surface on your wall you don't feel it you don't feel the walls so close together when 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 these walls are covered with with this kind of like with this kind of paintings what I'm trying to do here it's like take images that are familiar dear near and it's my intention to take those images out of their own context and simplify, I simplify them for you to question what, what's your relationship with that, with that image that you recognize or you feel like you're wrong. Uh, by doing this, I think I'm making a, a portrait of, of the times we live. Uh, though I don't intend to, but, but usually the images are, that I select they're, they usually represent, well, what we hope for, what we want, what we hold as beautiful, or sometimes what we hold as, I don't know, threatful or, 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 or bad. I don't have really any constant on my image selection. I'm going really random. And I All right, the, the creative process, it's, it's, it's simple. It's simple, it, it begins with an idea. I never stand in front of a white canvas thinking what to do. I always have an idea and develop it. Um, usually I work with photographs I take. Then I make the selection of the images and then I um, make a selection to be specific on what I want to say. Can be many things. Uh, can make can be a statement, can be I don't know, a complaint, whatever I feel like to in that moment. Then once I select the image, I just select the format. How big, you know? It's because you, you can make a small image and wouldn't have the impact. Some images deserve to be you know blown out to to, to for you to feel feel good the, to to make, to have a sense of fulfillment once the painting is like done. So the last uh, stage of making a painting is just making the painting. That's when I stand in front of, of a canvas, I already know what I want to do, how I'm going to do it and how I'm going to solve it. So many people are, many artists, what they do is they create something technically complex and beautiful. Those are the artists that sell the, the, the how. The how is done. 
if you know what I mean. I'm not, and my technique, you know, it's just the necessary to cover uh, the idea. So I consider myself uh, an artist that it's like concerned more in the what. It has worked for, it, it had worked for me, and uh, I still have a lot of things to do. Where I'm going to go from here, I cannot tell you, but I'm sure I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a lot of fun doing it.